Adam Brody and his new film, The Kid Detective. Good to see you, brother. Hi. With the scruff and everything. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me. This, I feel like, is filmmaker Adam Brody. You look very uh, artistic, like you're in your studio. Yeah. Yeah. Cinematography stuff. Wildlife <laughs> photography, maybe. <laughs> Nat Geo. No, it's, it's just unemployed, Adam Brody. <laughs> Uh, the new movie looks so good, The Kid Detective, because I like how salty this character is. Thank you. Yeah, um, this is a real uh, dream for me. It was a long, took a good five years to get made. And uh, uh, so it's been a long journey. And to have it here and to have be talking about it with you is uh, it's kind of a dream. It's called The Kid Detective, but what kind of mystery are we solving here? A murder, a murder, and uh, um, so it's, yeah, the kid detective is a bit of a misnomer. He was a kid detective, and in many ways, internally, he's still a kid. He's got some maturing to do, but in um, point of fact, he's an adult solving a very, or, or at least trying to solve a very adult case, which, you know, therein lies the uh, comedy and the drama. How is parenthood? We added a new member to your family, your little son. Number two's different. How did your daughter feel about uh, the addition? Uh, really, really good. She's very, very uh, sweet with him, which we're, we're happy about that. <laughs> I've seen it go the other way. Um, but there's also a kind of a nice spread. She just turned five before he was born. So, and we did that a little bit on purpose, just to give ourselves a little bit of a break. Right. But then also, um, yeah, it's, it's less chaotic, I think, than when they're closer together. So hopefully they're still close enough in age that they'll be great friends their whole life. But um, yeah, I think it's a little, maybe it's a little easier that way, at least for now. Well, Are, she's five. It's her baby, let's be clear, <laughs> right? Is this, this is her yeah, baby? Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's her baby. Oh. Um, yeah, no, she's been, she's a good little mommy, and she's been, uh, she loves, loves playing house and all that stuff. So she's, um, she's adequately prepared. She, she's, she's changed his diaper a few times. Woo. Really? Well done. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. not mad at that. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. people re really responded well to you taking over your wife Leighton Meester's Instagram account will we be seeing you on Instagram anytime soon I'm on my own account probably probably not only because it's it's such a, it seems really fun and I know that once <laughs> I go there I'll never go back it's such a time suck in the same way that I wasn't on Twitter till about three years ago and then I am now and then I'm on it a lot right and and it's hard to close that door once you open it. So I think um, I'll let my natural lazy uh, instinct um, take over and just drag my feet as long as possible. Please don't do it, Adam, and just keep your kids off it as long as possible. I was actually just wondering about that yeah. as, a, as a, a new parent. I mean, you've got a five-year-old. What, what is home like with devices and things like that? There's no devices. She doesn't have uh, many devices. We don't really do any computer games or anything. Um, but, you know, I'd be lying if I said we haven't watched a lot of movies together since she was real <laughs> young. <laughs> so uh, we, do do, we do do that. There's some screen time in that, uh, uh, in that regard, for sure. Adam, in quarantine, there's a couple of shows that people are re-binging. We got to go way back. Let's talk a little Gilmore Girls in the OC. Do you know about this? There are two shows that are spiked that people are watching the whole seasons of it. What is your best memories about Gilmore Girls? Well, working with, I mostly worked with Keiko uh, uh, again on that show. And uh, she's just such a lovely person. And I got to reunite with her recently to do a um, uh, get out the vote um, um, campaign. So <laughs> her. Wonderful. Look Wonderful. Uh, uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Kit said it, but fans have also been saying it. Dave and Lane were supposed to be the way oh. to go. Like it's supposed to be them forever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can blame the OC for that. <laughs> I, uh, um, I got another job that <laughs> was going to, you know, keep me even busier. And uh, uh, what can I say? We just had Papa Cohen on the show not yep. too long ago, and he apparently gives some of the best advice. He told Chris Carmack to save his money because as an actor, it goes real fast. And he said, don't trim the brows because his brow game was strong. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because he said to me, spend all your money. <laughs> don't worry. It always comes back. You'll be working forever. So I'm, I'm just kidding. Not. Speaking of working forever, what's going on with Shazam 2? Are you working out yet? Let's I see was it. hoping you guys knew something. Um, can you tell me <laughs> anything about it? Because uh, I'm not sure. I think we're uh, going soon, but but um that's that's 
That's literally as much as I know and could say even if I did no more. We heard you're getting into fight and shape. Let's see what you got going on. Let's see what's... Uh, oh, the gun show? The gun show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Robert Pattinson. Hey, we're ready. <laughs> right there. Uh, great seeing you. Tell you, Leighton, hello, and the kids. Good Congrats to see you, on everything. Thank you. Good to see you guys, too. This looks well. really fun. The Kid uh, Detective is in theaters right now. Perfect.